Hello friends, we are in mobile application development using Flutter course and this course is for third year BTEC. I am Arun Desai from Department of CSE KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. We are looking at uh, first unit and that is the art programming language. So starting with introductory uh, points about Dart programming language. So Dart programming language is open source. This programming language is general so, uh, general purpose language. Uh, it also has ability of object oriented programming. Uh, we have a syntax, uh, C style syntax in use there in Dart programming language. This language is developed by Google in 2011. The purpose of Dart programming is to create a front end uh, user interface for the web and mobile application. Dart is inspired by uh, other programming language and the language like Java, JavaScript, C Sharp. So the style is like C Sharp and JavaScript. Mainly uh, the style is like JavaScript uh, and this uh, language is used for cross platform development as well with the Flutter. <coughs> So, looking at the first program, we have um, first function called entry point function that is main. A main function does not return anything, so we need to uh, write a type as void there. We have arguments of type list and we can send the argument with a string type as a list there from uh, main function. We can run dart by using any id you can have android studio there as a recommended id or you can use online editor called dartpad just to run and execute just to type and execute the program uh, talking about data types which are there in Dart, we have multiple data types available just like C and C++. So, you know uh, C and C++ from your first year and second year uh, courses and all all the most uh, most of the things which are there from C and C++ style only. So, data types are also there which are used there in C and C++. So, we have multiple data types which are there on screen int double num we have string we have var and dynamic also is available like javascript we have bool there we have list we have map we have set uh, generally we have collections also there in as a uh, to handle the data so talking about data type you know most of the data types uh, there in but in case of you want to work with a number we have integer or double one more addition here in the dart is num and, and you can use num you can store any integer value any double value with a num so basically it is a type you can use for integer and double uh, data types or that type of data if you want to store in num variable we have multi-line text also available there in dart uh, and the method how to write is we have we need to write in uh, three single quotes and that string should be there in three single quotes and you can write multiple lines also there in uh, to have multiple multi-line string rather <coughs> we have var data type this uh, var data type is like javascript if any variable is declared as a var type it can hold any type of data so it depends on what type of data you are storing the var takes that type of data in uh, the variable you want to store in so the type will be based on data you are going to store in it most common collections uh, nearly even every programming language is array or ordered group of object in dart array is a list object so we don't have array rather we have list there in dart programming so most people generally call those arrays as a list here in dart programming so generally we have list and map therein uh, in list you can pass list with a number with a character with a strings and you have a map a map is with a different structure wherein we have a 
key value pair we need to give key we uh, need to assign value to each and every key you can assign those uh, values a different key you can access those values with a key so the things are different in list and map you have to have data there in list but you need to provide keys for each and every data used in maps you can uh, access those uh, with a loop uh, with a loop uh, data which is available there in list and map there are multiple loops available the fastest loop is for each loop wherein you can access those and rather it is easy to write as well so you can use for each group just to access this data from the <coughs> list and map we also have write lambda expressions for those uh, there are multiple types of operators just like we, uh, those operators which are there in C and C++ which are also available there in Dart programming. We have arithmetic operators, we have increment and decrement operator, we have assignment operator, logical operator. So all such operations and operators which are used there in C and C++ are also there in Dart programming. So everything is same like C and C++. One more addition here is type test op operator. We have two type test operators and wherein we have uh, different categories available to type test operator. One is type cast operator that is called as and just to take the uh, check the type we have two different uh, operators called is and is not right. So the example for to check the uh, type test operator is in front of you we have a string and we have uh, a integer so value 1 comes up with a dart tutorial which is a string and we have a age uh, 10 so we just checking whether that is string or which is not a integer so by using such values you can check uh, such operators you can check whether the type is valid or not there are conditions available in dart which are there in c and c plus plus so we have if condition we have if else condition if else if condition we have switch condition so you practice all those conditions in c and c plus plus as well so no need to explain much about those conditions and looping statements because you already practiced all such cases there in c and c plus plus those are the loops available in dart programming for loop for each loop while loop do while loop the difference between while is and do while is uh, at least once the loop is executed in do while loop while otherwise in while loop it uh, uh, checks the condition first and then loop is executed so one more important aspect there in dart programming languages functions uh, we are writing functions and we are actually writing code and that code is we write the code in blocks because we need to perform some specific ap operations or task so we can create a uh, statements we uh, we can create a block with number of statements which are repeatedly occurs in a program in such way if the case is there we, wherein we have repetitive statements which are executed executed repeatedly there in code we write simply functions for such code uh, so it actually avoids the repetition when you write a function in any programming language it avoids the code repetitions you can divide a complex program into smaller parts uh, it is easy to write and it gives you know a clean a view of code <coughs> generally so the syntax for function is we have a return type there we have a function name uh, return type space function name and then in rounded brackets we have argument so we can pass multiple parameters as well after that we have a curly braces after opening curly brace we have a function body so whatever these procedures whatever the steps that you want to take with the function you are actually writing that code there in function body 
so this is how the example which is there on your screen we are adding two numbers uh, and we are not returning anything from that function so we uh, have named that function as add return type is void and we have two uh, parameters of integer type uh, and that is argument number one and number two uh, in bracket we uh, <coughs> In bracket we uh, initialize another variable called sum and we pass the addition num1 and num2 to sum and after that we uh, print the sum. Uh, also we call uh, we need to call this function in entry point function and that is basically a main function. Um, in case of dart if uh, we are not writing anything to the function like we are not writing uh, type of uh, function return type or type for arguments then it takes as dynamic type. So the syntax like just the name of function and passing parameter is also valid there in dart and this syntax is like a javascript style syntax. So if we are not providing any return type for parameter as well as function return it does not take any type right then uh, we have a default value so we uh, use positional parameters and pass the default value like void add int a and for integer b we provide a default value zero we also have a named parameter and required parameter there so for named parameters we need to mention those parameters there in curly braces if we are providing uh, those curly braces for parameter passing mechanism then we need to pass the value with that parameter so you can change the sequence as well if we have a named parameter like uh, we have generally a function like int a and int b in such cases first parameter that we need to pass is a value of a only but in case of named parameter if we have a name we can pass those values with a name like name of that parameter colon value so if we are passing like name of parameter colon value then we can change the sequence as well we also have a required keyword with us in functions so required is necessary uh, when you want to pass the argument and you want to strictly pass the argument then we need to have this required parameter if we have required parameter then uh, we need to pass that argument to the function and that is the necessity of that function <coughs> we also have uh, anonymous functions basically we know about named functions wherein we pass the name rather we write the name for any function like we have a main function earlier we have add function earlier so those are basically called name functions but we have anonymous functions wherein we are not re uh, we are not providing any name to function we just uh, have a function uh, op uh, rounded bracket there and in rounded bracket we can pass a parameter and we write a body there in curly braces and such functions without names are called anonymous function in case of dart so this is how the example of anonymous function we can write a function then we ha also have a arrow function uh, this is you know a shorthand method to write a arrow function if uh, we have a single line statement there as a function body then we are actually using the arrow function so we only have a uh, an addition there for two numbers and which is a single line statement so we use arrow statement there uh, which is basically also called a function body so no need to write it in curly braces just have, have to put arrow there and then we need to write a single statement which is executed after that uh, function call so this is how those arrow functions are available there in dart programming language thank you